Good morning to you. Jesus is Lord. Thank God. Jesus is Lord. The Word works. Helping you. Really going to help you the rest of this week. We talked a little bit yesterday about revelation knowledge. Over the 16th chapter of the Gospel of Matthew, Jesus said about uh, uh, Simon Peter, he said, flesh and blood hath not revealed this unto you. And because of that, you're blessed, happy, fortunate, enviable, blessed because of revelation knowledge. And he says, I'll give you the keys. The keys, after you get revelation knowledge, it's whatever you allow, God will allow. Whatever you will not allow, God will not allow. So I want to talk to you for several days here in connection with that on how you can receive the most from this message or other messages uh, that you might be listening to. So I got to give you this testimony. Pat and I still go to meetings, not as much as we used to, but we'd go to meetings out in Tulsa, Oklahoma, 10-hour drive, Fort Worth, Texas, 12-hour drive. And we'd be in those meetings, and these great men and women of God would share some really good stuff, and I wouldn't get a blooming thing. We'd go back to the hotel at night, and Pat said, did you hear what Kenneth said? And boy, she'd just have her Bible open and working on it and admit it. She'd say, thank you, Lord, for that revelation. Thank you, Lord, that I received that. And I'd be sitting there thinking, how'd you get that? Uh, what'd you do to get that? I didn't get nothing. Well, after, you know, many years of those trips, I began to realize I was not preparing my soil at all. I had to believe God for like $2,000 to get there and get a hotel and pay for the meals. And I had to believe God my old dog car would get there and the tires wouldn't just blow out because I had Maypops on them. And my mind was so filled with strife and, and envy and garbage. And why don't they ask me to preach? Because after all, I know more than all of them. And you know, the music was too loud and the worship service was too long. And we'd go to the room, she'd say, did you hear what he said? Or did you hear what this one said? And I'd say, no, I didn't get nothing. And uh, dawned on me, I had, I had some bad soil. I wasn't preparing my soil at all. A good farmer cultivates the soil, prepares the soil before he goes. I started doing that, started receiving revelation knowledge. So if you're going to watch this program every day, there's three or four things you can do. And I'm going to talk about this one. Prepare the soil. Before you ever turn it on, pray. Get rid of the yuck. Get rid of the strife and the bickering and the murmuring and the complaining and, and prepare your heart. Be ready to receive. That's real important. Number two, believe God that I'm going to give you some revelation knowledge. Now, uh, I probably ought to be on this more days than I'm going to, but believe God that God gives me the revelation so that I can give you the revelation. And of course, I've been doing this for you know, 54 years, and I've always been doing it for free. The revelation knowledge that I have, I give to you for free, but you've got to receive it. So I usually start the day before, like today's Monday. I usually start Sunday afternoon preparing my heart, praying and getting the mind of God as to what to say to you. Uh, you know, it's uh, 3 o'clock in the morning, sorry, 3.30 in the morning, so that you can get this any time of the day, and you can get it Several times a day if you want to, and it's free. didn't cost you nothing, but I, I work at this. It's not something I just get up in the morning and say, well, you know, uh, what am I going to do? So pray and believe God for me and believe God with me that I have revelation for you today. Lord, give Pastor Frank a word for me today. And I'm not talking about a prophetic word, but the word of the Lord that will change your life. Because you can go to the word. I'm patting my Bible there. Uh, you can go to the word, plant that seed of the word and change everything in your life. So believe God that God gives me revelation that you need. Pray before you ever turn it on. Believe God, hey, he's got something for me today. I went to a meeting, oh, it's been over a month ago now, and I was believing God, man. I mean, I had to believe God for the money to get there. Uh, two or three days before I went, I didn't have enough money to get out of town. I had to believe God my old uh, pickup truck wouldn't break down on me on the way out there. A lot of things I had to work on to get there. But when I got there, buddy, I got prepared. I took the day before I got there and I got prepared. And I received things that the ministers did not even say. I was wide open, man. I was believing God and God showed me some things. And I, in fact, the Lord spoke to me about some things. Now it was considered a prophetic meeting, but I didn't get no prophecies. Nobody ministered a word or the word to me. I've got a better word of prophecy anyway, and it's the word. But I want you to know out of all the people that was there, 
I probably got more than anybody there because I was believing for revelation to come to me and I was believing for God to show me things that would help me in my present situation. So one, prepare the soil. Two, then pray uh, on a regular basis, not just before you watch this program, that God gives me revelation and knowledge that I can help you with the things that you need. So believe God for me and with me. And the third thing is, is believe God that you're going to draw from it, make a demand on it. There was a multitude of people that was thronging Jesus in Mark chapter 5, uh, but only one received because she, the woman with the issue of blood, made a demand on his power. So make a demand. Sit there and say, boy, bless God, I need to hear from God. I mean, I've got to pay some bills here, and I need to hear from God on where I missed it or what I'm doing wrong or what I need to do. And make a demand on that power. Draw off of that. And if nobody gets it but you, you'll be the one that gets it. One, get the yuck out of your life. Two, pray for me. Pray for this ministry. Three, believe God to make a demand on the power of God that you get it. Now, I'll talk about four, five, and six tomorrow in the next day, but there is a way that you can be assured of getting revelation knowledge from the Word of God and particularly this program. Hey, God loves you. He wants you to have it. I love you. I do this every day. I mean, I get up at three o'clock every day and do this because I want you to be free. Well, if I'm going to prepare it, get it. It's kind of like when our kids were all young and Pat would fix supper. She'd go, I'm talking about the boys. We had three sons and a daughter, still do. Uh, great kids. Uh, of course, they're in their 50s now, 40s and 50s. Blessed we are, very blessed. But she'd put whatever she fixed on the table, always a big old bowl of mashed potatoes with butter in it. And she'd put that on the table and she'd go out there one time and call them. Say, boys, dinner's on the table. They had to come in and get it. If she didn't take it to them, and if they didn't come in and get it, and the rest of them sat down and ate it, and there wasn't nothing left when they got there, it wasn't her fault. It's because she prepared it. It was there for their, their taking, and they had to take it. Hey, God prepared this. I prepared my heart for it. I've meditated on it for weeks now to get to this subject. So take it. Make a demand on the power. So until I'm with you tomorrow, saints, remember, words for you. God's for you, and it's working. So until I'm with you tomorrow, saints, remember, Jesus is Lord. Thank God the word works.